What's up everybody, this is Kerry. In this video, I'm gonna give you my best bets for week 12 of the NFL season. Now, here's our record for the first 11 weeks. Last week and week 11, we went three and three. We lost a little bit of units there, but overall we are 50 and 33 for a 60% win rate. Still above 60% after the first 11 weeks of the NFL season, which I feel really good about that. And we've earned 13.26 units. Let's look at a quick recap of week 11. Now, our first trend that we follow here, home teams before their bye week to cover the spread. There were no teams on bye in week 12. For trend number two, we have underdogs coming off 20 plus point losses to cover the spread. The Giants just got blown out by the Cowboys again, but in week 11, not only did they cover that spread, but they beat the Commanders 31 to 19. Wow. <laughs> I was really happy to see this, very excited. Trend number three, trend that I came up with, any games that are in one of these five totals tend to go under. And in this week, week 11, two of those three went under. Very happy about that. The Eagles and the Chiefs, of course. The Super Bowl rematch was on Monday night. That was just last night. Also, the Raiders at the Dolphins, that was one that I said put on the watch list here. That went down a little bit. I think 47 and a half. I banked that bet, and that also went under. Okay, finally, trend four. Divisional road teams that lost as home favorites in game one and then covered spread in game two. The Bengals and the Seahawks were our teams that fit this criteria in week 11. And neither one of those, at least on this video here, won. It doesn't mean that this is a bad trend. In fact, if you look at those games, if you watch those games, in both those games, the Bengals and the Seahawks both had to lead before the starting quarterbacks, Joe Burrow and Geno Smith, got injured. And then the other team basically took off from there. But look at those Seahawks. I've got a little bit more to say about this one. Because I placed these bets on Tuesday, I got this at minus one where they were still a favorite. Well, later on, on Sunday, they became, that line moved, that minus one moved to a plus two and a half. So because the Rams beat the Seahawks 17 to 16, if you got that line on Sunday morning, then you actually won this bet. For this particular bet on week 11, the Seahawks, my Tuesday bet lost, but the trend at plus two and a half won. Let's get to our week 12 best bets. Here again are the trends. Now I've updated these to include 2023 up to week 11. So my data set now has 2015 to 2022 in the first 11 weeks of 2023. And these are the trend percentages so far. All of these are up over 58% overall. And that season hit rate means how often they got above 52.39% in the last nine seasons, 2015, including 2023. So here are our best bets now for week 12. Trend number one, home teams before the bye week. Finally, we got a lot, we got six teams on bye in week, in week 13. These teams are at home, but look at those lines. Uh, I really like all of them, especially the Raiders are plus nine and a half. I think I actually got that at plus 10, but it, because this is Tuesday morning, I'm showing you what is available right now. But when you look at those lines, those might actually go back in our favor. In fact, the Giants might be more plus four, or maybe the Vikings are at negative three, whatever it might be. If those lines move, like I said earlier, if you wait till Sunday morning, in fact, before game time, you might get a better line, a better number that's more in your favor. Trend number two, underdogs coming off 20 plus point losses that cover the spread. The Panthers at plus four against the Titans. Now, the Titans also lost by 20 points, but they're the favorite in this game, so we have to pick the Panthers. And the Jets also lost by more than 20 points, and they're playing the Dolphins at home. That is the first Black Friday game is coming up this Friday. Trend number three, these three games have their totals in one of those five values. I've already placed all of these bets. Now this is where I do feel like getting the line earlier in the week for the totals makes more sense because these lines tend to then go down and get go lower closer to Sunday or closer to game time. So I think the fact that Packers and Lions might even be down to 47 at this point, I'm not quite sure. But these are all very solid numbers right now. I like picking total lines earlier in the week. Finally, trend number four, divisional road teams that lost as home favorites in game one to cover the spread in game two. The Texans surprised a lot of people earlier in the season, and they're strong. They've been doing really well. However, I believe that the Jaguars are going to get revenge on this team. So the Jaguars at minus one and a half is also my best bet. As always, good luck and have fun. 
You know, one of these things I mentioned here is that you want to look for the lines closer to game time. If you just want to wait until Sunday morning to place your spread bets, that's not a bad idea. However, if you want to pick them now and follow me on my video best bets, that's great as well. As always, good luck, have fun, happy Thanksgiving, let's go.